yo welcome back everybody to another crate opening video we're gonna be opening up the crates that we did not get to open in the original video and also we're gonna take a crack at some of the crates in the last video because i'm in a new world here and we're gonna kill every single vanilla boss thorium boss event bosses which i guess you put them in vanilla we're gonna do all of that right now you ready it's just go ahead go go to the killing montage Okay, so obviously in that montage, I didn't include every single boss that took a really long time to kill everything. But we're here, and we can finally start opening crates. That really took me like an hour to do. <laughs> the thing is, I have, you know, the ability to just spawn in bosses, but, you know, some, they just required certain situations, and it be like that sometimes. So, let's go ahead. We're gonna start popping open some crates. We're gonna start with this one right here, which is the crimson one. Boom, crimson crate. Let's go ahead. Let me make a spot here to open this. Maybe just toss that in there. Okay, here it goes. Ready? Let, let me go somewhere where it's easier to see. Maybe like over here is easier to see over here. I don't know. But let's start popping this open and we finally should be in our hands on some hard mode stuff. I'm going to speed the up the rest of this footage. I don't know why I'm talking. All right, so for the crimson, 100 crimson crates, we got our hands on some goodies some hard mode goodies is what i should say like the tendon hook the hurtful life drain i don't know why i said hurtful these are really good flesh knuckles uh the meat grinder i don't know how hard the meat grinder is to get regularly but we got it right there dart pistol never used it so i could i don't know if it's good but the best thing and the only reason why anyone ever fishes to be honest and that is to get the ore the hard mode ore. you know the strategy where you fish right before hard mode get a bunch of crates and then you save them right for hard mode boom perfect perfect example of why you should save crates and why you should fish them up anyways because you know people get kind of bored mining if you don't like mining in terraria this is this is the alternative route what else do we get in here 109 super healing potions that's really good so we are moving on to the next crate the b crate So we got some interesting stuff here. Obviously, most of it is going to be pre-hard mode. It is a bee crate. But if you like the bee stuff and are trying to get it early, I'm assuming you fish this out of the honey, actually. So I don't even know if you can get it early. But if you don't want to fight the queen bee, boom. Get some goodies you can get just by fishing for these crates. That's really it. But I guess if you're getting this in pre-hard mode, bee nades, god tier. For being honest, bee nades are so god tier. I used to throw these things on my shitty computer and they would drop me to like 10 frames per second. That's how good they are. Moving on to the next one, obsidian crate now i have no idea at all what this is gonna offer but let's start popping it open So it seems like the obsidian crate does the same as the spooky crate from the last part or part one and it gives us a lot of furniture which i guess if you want obsidian themed furniture without having to look for it or build it boom obsidian crate i feel like this crate is more of like a bonus you know what i'm saying you just fish it up randomly you're like hey cool an obsidian crate that's really it i don't think anything out of this is going to be too good besides obviously the obsidian itself oh it does fish up hellstone not a bad crate i wouldn't consider it the best you also do get voodoo dolls if you're having troubles finding a uh, voodoo demon it's okay it's okay we moving on to the marble crate same thing don't know what this is gonna give us i'm assuming it's gonna be furniture So my assumption was right. It did give us a good bit of furniture, but it also gave us one of my favorite weapons when they added this. What was it? 1.3. This weapon was so cool to me. Remember when Medusa's head was a pre-hard mode weapon? This was a pre-hard mode weapon. This weapon is so cool and unique that I wish there was more like it. Not saying that Terry weapons aren't unique or anything, but it's just so cool. The idea of it, you're ripping medusa's head off of her body and then using her head as a weapon and it's a really good weapon really good for wave clearing but yeah that's a good weapon marble crate is pretty worth it honestly for that weapon alone if you're not a mage then obviously not but there's also the pocket mirror which gives you immunity to petrification pretty much you know if you get a pocket mirror you can go farm medusa's head i'm assuming the uh, granite cake cake crate right here is gonna do the exact same stuff in terms of furniture but there's no medusa in the granite biome so i don't know moving on we are now gonna do the ice crate which i'm assuming is gonna be pretty good for pre-hard mode stuff but uh let's see 
So the ice crate seems like the first crate to give us hard mode bars. Did you guys notice that? Look at this. This is really good. <laughs> this is a lot of bars. I mean, obviously, you always won't be opening 100 crates, but you'll be open at least like 25 to 30 if you go fishing. But like, Jesus, this is a lot of bars. Moving on. Granite crate. I'm not expecting too much from this. Let's go ahead. Let's start popping it open. So yeah, as expected, not too much from this crate. I didn't expect anything at all. This seems like one of those crates that you do get as a bonus. The main thing here is the night vision helmet, which I never thought was too good. Quote unquote, improves vision is not even that good. And if you guys wanted me to say something about the ice crate, you get the fish from the ice crate. There you go. But who cares when you get barred? Moving on to the next one, shadow crate. Let's pop this baby open. Come on, give me some goodies. Why am I talking while doing it? Okie dokie. I don't know why I said that. We got some goodies again. We got bars, which I really like the ones that give you bars. We also got this right here. Shadow lockbox requires a shadow key. So I'm assuming this is just a way to get even more shadow loot. I'm kind of surprised that the shadow crates didn't give us you know, shadow items. I guess it is from Fargo's mod. I thought this was from battle rods. <laughs> I didn't think it was from Fargo's. It's all good. Not a bad crate. Bars. Every time we get bars, I consider it a good crate. Honestly, this is the last crate of our set of new crates crates and then we're gonna open up some of the old crates we're not gonna do 100 of the old crates we're gonna do like 25 of each and we'll see what we get but let's start popping these meteor crates open All right, the meteor crate just seems like another one of those bonus crates that I've been talking about. You know, you're just fishing and then you get it randomly. Not not too bad. I don't even see where the meteorite bars are. They're somewhere in here, right? There it is, 2,000. It's actually not that bad. But yeah, moving on to the older crates. We got 25 uh, strange crates, 25 scarlet crates, and then we got 25 of all these other crates. Let's go ahead. We're just gonna open all of them up at once and then, okay, maybe not do that because that's gonna get kind of messy. All right, so for the strange and scarlet crate, the loot is not that bad. If you're doing a thorium only playthrough, this loot is pretty good. It's pretty good. But if you're not doing a thorium only playthrough, it's okay. I mean, there's not much really. The, the drowned doubloon is probably one of the best. But most of these are thorium hard mode items that you craft armor with and stuff. Weapons. Let me just show a couple recipes like this. Boom, you make an armor set here and a couple weapons. Same thing with this. You can make wings with this. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing too spectacular. So you're not missing out much boom scarlet crate did not give us much either in terms of hard mode loot we got a couple lodestone and palladium and what else there was something else i saw these right here these soul dust which you actually can turn into souls not bad at all actually that's a good way to farm those if you don't like just killing enemies but yeah it's okay loot i didn't expect too much honestly moving on to the final set of crates maybe i should just make a separate chest for each one yeah i'm gonna do that so i can just open them all at once All right, so going through everything, it does not seem like it's much better. So honestly, that first crate video, we weren't missing out on much, but I guess we got a candy corn rifle and Horseman's Blade is actually really good. But yeah, that's about it. And obviously a couple hard mode things sprinkled in there. Super healing potions, master bait, adamantite ore, of course. Uh, this is the corruption crate. Uh, not really much, much of anything here besides that, the putrid scent. This, I don't even know what crate this was. What, what crate was this? <laughs> Who knows? I, I, I will never know. Hollow crate, I know this is the hollow crate not bad it actually gave us some thorium stuff too so it's actually not that bad at all this crate was the soul crate soul crate's always good soul crate is always good same thing with the uh, luminite crate always good you know you get post moon lord items you get fragments i hate farming for fragments you know me said it last time so this is a really good way to get it and this was the terra crate still fucking sucks if you're a melee character and you get a broken hero bow what the hell are you gonna do with it but yeah we did make a good buck 126 platinum 47 golden coins opening up all these crates i realized the loot is is okay i still do enjoy fishing more than i do enjoy mining because you know i feel like mining is more of a pre-hard mode thing and then once you enter hard mode it's like hey you gotta mine like a million times again it's like nah i'm good change it to fishing i like that you can go from mining to fishing i think it's a cool thing in terraria to be able to have a choice of whether or not to go mining again once you hit hard mode and i feel like you know it's kind of like leveling up in a way it's like man i used to be in the mines back in the day but now since i came up big i'm out here fishing on the docks damn that's a cool story but yeah i hope you guys 
guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a sub we are on our road to 45k subs and 50k if you guys have been watching me for a while and you aren't a new subscriber slash a new viewer if you don't know once i hit 50k we're doing a face reveal that, that means i had to get a haircut bro my barber raises his prices by ten dollars that shit is expensive hey what's up i'm trying to get the video to 10 minutes how's everyone <laughs> hey what's up i'm trying to get the video to 10 minutes so youtube will actually put ads on it I, how's everyone doing hey make sure you go on my twitch it's twitch.tv slash gamers 101 i'm gonna try and stream every friday saturday and sunday and uh that's that's really it did the video hit 10 minutes yet hey let me ask my uh, producer hey did it hit 10 minutes yet i don't have a producer i, I just like talking to myself